Arch D. Arch D. Arch D. Latest music. All the news worth knowing in the Archdiocese of Adelaide. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Let's get into it. Three, two, one. Good day, good evening, hello. Uh, welcome, aloha. welcome, welcome. Or as they say in Fiji, Bula. Bula, I've been to Fiji. Have you? Bonjour, I've also been to Paris. Oh, well, how about that? How about that? <laughs> it is our pleasure to be here. Are you having a good holiday, Sarah? Are you a bit snuffly there? Well, yes, I may be sick again for the fourth time in a row. Dude, that's just not fun. It's not fun. It's really not. And what have you been doing much with your holidays? Uh... Well, nothing really productive, if no. that's what you mean. Well, then that's a good holiday, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, but these holidays are supposed to be at least a little bit productive. Mm, a little bit. Just a little bit. What uh, have you been doing? I don't Working? believe it. Uh, no, I had some time off. I went uh, away. I went camping up Did at uh, Burra, oh. and that was beautiful because I was in a um, like a national park where... It's basically, you just basically, you can go there, you can like um, light fires and um, not like bushfires or anything, but your own personal. Uh, you could light fires. Yeah, exactly. No, like a campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which a you can't bon- really do. You, you can't really do that much in a lot of places. Sure. But we could do that there and um, just hike through the gorge. and. That is great. It was awesome. It was so nice and really allowed yeah, yourself to, to defrag. Yeah. No, it was awesome. And it was, uh, sounds so like I've had a great fun. one. And as you can see, I've gone all, I've decided to go all furry. James has a beard yes I've got a full beard it's a, it's a full beard like almost reaching the floor like, oh, no, exactly it exactly is. it's it's <laughs> like we better take a photo of it and put it up on on the Facebook page so people can actually see <gasps> that I, I can was, successfully yeah. grow a beard and that's important yes well done, well done. <laughs> slow clap we've got a huge show for you tonight lots of news and lots of new music brand new stuff from Brit Nicole Connor Maynard and Lifehouse but right now this is Flo Rida you're listening to Arch D on Life that's brand new for Brit Nicole. You're listening to Arch D on Life. Mm. Hey, Sarah. Hey, James. I love a night of music and fellowship for young people, don't you? I do as well. And you know what? It just so happens there's one coming up. An event called 412 is actually mm. happening uh, uh, out in Hectorville. Is that your neck of the woods, Sarah? Hectorville. Hectorville? No. East? No, it's not. No? No. I'm, no. I'm west. And you're in the wild, wild west. Um, <laughs> West, West Side. <laughs> West Saida. <laughs> West Saida. No, I'm down west. West, north, northwest. But if you are out east or uh, if you're keen anyway, it's on October the 12th at 7 pm. It's at the Hectorville Parish Hall. Apparently, it's going to be absolutely massive. Lots of music, uh, lots of other stuff actually going on. It's going to be a great night of celebration, getting together, just having fun generally. Having fun in the sun. Open world will be nice. Time. Although, but daylight saving, it could be fun in the sun. Oh. Seven o'clock, absolutely. But for people between the ages of 13 and 30, uh, the music's going to be provided by Tea Tree Gully Antioch, Jesus Youth, Co workers in Christ, Youth for Christ, the Hectorville Catholic Community Youth Band. It's going on, going on and going off. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be huge. If you want more details about it, jump onto our Facebook page at archdradio.com. But it is again uh, October the 12th, 7 pm at Hectorville. Parish Hall. This is brand new for Connor Maynard and Neo. This is Turnaround. You're listening to Arch D on Life. Brand new for Lifehouse and Natasha Beddingfield. You're listening to Arch D on Life. And it's that wonderful moment when the newest edition of Southern Cross is out. It has hit the street. Yay! And hit the w- 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 the World Wide Web. Oh, I was a bit confused then for a second. I know. I I'm not stutter. I haven't developed a stutter. World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> All the latest Catholic news that matters, uh, it's now out in parishes and at the southerncross.org.au. Heaps and heaps of amazing and interesting stuff. Bumper full, in colour and gloss. It's all there. It is all there. <laughs> Including... And it's all a- square because it is a newspaper. Indeed it is, unless you open it up and then it's rectangular. Uh, uh-huh. There's also some great news about the... You know, we were talking recently about the Back Me Up cyberbullying campaign. Yeah. Well, some interesting news about some Adelaide students who have actually become finalists in that. But we'll go into that in a little bit. Mumford & Son, you are listening to Arch D on Life. Now, Sarah, I've got to ask you something. Okay. Any moment in the last 10 years in Australian history that jumps out to you, what would it be? 
One event. One event that you reckon would be the event. Nikki Webster singing at the Olympics. Now, you are joking and you've seen my notes, haven't you? <laughs> Can I are be you honest? serious? I'm actually serious. No. I, you are no. James. You are kidding me. I crossed my fingers in truth. I don't trust your fingers. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with my fingers. No, I'm Are you serious? I, I'm Nikki Webster being, singing at the Olympics. Hands down, I'm being serious. Okay, well this is definitely the news story for you. Now Oh my goodness, it says Nikki Webster. I didn't Yes, it does. That. You see that? I didn't I'm actually being serious. I didn't now, see that. Lego. We love Lego. We do. In Australia, we love our Lego. Sorry, yes. but I'm unfortunately, this is where I give my, my Queensland thing. I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. We love our Lego. It is here Lego. In Australia. It is, it is Lego. Lego, which is why it's spelt Lego. But let's not even go there. Okay? Lego. Lego. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of Lego. I'm just going to keep saying it like this, and I'm really sorry for whoever Lego. I marginalised by Lego. saying Lego. The greatest moments in Australian history, <laughs> this is the news article, the greatest moments in Australian history, plus Nikki West. <laughs> <laughs> Most Australians would agree we live in a great country and a rich history of achievement and excellence and Lego. We're pretty big on Lego too. To help celebrate its 50th anniversary, Lego has polled fans and picked 10 great moments in Australian history recreated with awesome little dudes and dudettes with clip hands. Awesome. It's all on. Are you telling me that there's a Lego? Lego? Yeah. Mickey Webster? Yes. What? There is now. They don't have a picture of it in here, but they've got all a whole bunch of other things. They've got Australia winning uh, the America's Cup yacht race, which they did, I think, in the early 80s. That was a big yeah. thing. Uh, uh, Cadell Evans wins the uh, Tour de France. Here's, that's Cadell Evans winning the Tour de France. Excellent. <laughs> and, uh, and But then also... Yes, huh. there is a, a little tableau that's been created, a little diorama, if you will, of Lego, with Nikki Webster singing at the opening of the Olympic. Are you serious that you think that's yeah. a, a moment in Australian history? Okay, if I'm going to be completely honest, it's just the first thing that popped into my head. That's incredible. You know. You and the fans of Lego are one mind. Oh, I've been waiting to hear that my whole life. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we uh, come back. We're going to hear more about the finalists of that Back Me Up Cyberbullying campaign, as well as a big concert event that is coming up um, featuring moi. James. Yours truly. Woo. Ronan Keating, you're listening to Arch D on Life of Him. Ronan, good old Ronan. Good old Ronan. You know, your buddy Ronan. I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say your buddies? No, I mean. You know, if we were, that'd be awesome. That would be Nothing cool, wouldn't it? Ronan, that'd be cool. Now, if, if if there's anyone out there that doesn't know, Sarah here, my wonderful co-host here, was actually on X Factor a um, month or so ago. Actually, it wasn't me. It was my twin sister, Sarah. Sarah Main. That must get very confusing at home with someone saying Sarah, they're two identical girls to her and go, yes, mum. And then they're going, you know what, you know what, darling? What's that, darling? You know, we really should have thought about giving our, twi our twin girls different names. It's really causing a lot of confusion at the house. Absolutely. I don't know what they were thinking. But I actually, this morning, decided I'd have a look and see how your um, your film clips are going, your audition video is actually going on YouTube. You're oh. up to over 400,000 now, you realise. I did not realise that. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How about that? I'm speechless. There you go. Yeah. You're still talking. But I am. That's a neat trick. You got me there. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Uh, speaking of things uh, on the internet, the Back Me Up Cyberbullying campaign, the finalists have all been judged. And uh, there's a Thomas Moore Year 9 student and a Year 10 Mercedes student, Paige Ford Allen and Eloise Grover, respectively, who both placed in the top 10. They are spending a week in Sydney at NIDA, the National Institute NIDA. of Dramatic Art. That's what? the place. That is the place, the place to be. place to go. So they're doing a professional filmmaking workshop there. Didn't Kate Blanchard and Russell Crowe and The Heath same. Ledger, the same. It's the place. It's the place. That yeah. is the place yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's, it's, a, it's a really big deal. Great. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you jump onto our Facebook page at archdradio.com, you can check out uh, the, the winning videos and all that stuff. It's all there. This is brand new from DJ Madge. When we come back, we are going to hear a little bit about a big concert event coming up here in Adelaide in a couple of weeks. Starring our one and only James. Yeah, Starring so details you. coming up. You're listening to Archie on Life. Love all the way. Brittany Hargis.
Fest. You're listening to Arch D on 107.9 Life FM. That's all we have time for. That is all we have time for. We are going for. out. Out and about. Just briefly. Yes. If you are a fan of 1960s retro rock. Yep. Uh, head on down to... Myself. Yeah. Head on down to the Gov on October the 18th. This is a yep. Thursday night coming up. Uh, myself and a couple of other um, award-winning blues musicians who are quite well known around town. Uh, we are doing a tribute to the band Cream, which featured Eric Clapton and Jack uh, Bruce and Ginger Baker. We're doing a whole idol, night. Eric oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The guy who got me playing guitar in the first place. So exactly. if you want to check out details about that, uh, go to sweetbabyblues.com. Uh, cool. and click on the Tribute to Cream link. You can get tickets there. So, a bit of shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't mind at all. It's been about me, but let's make it about you. Oh, you're very nice. You're very nice. So, if that's the sort of thing you're into, get along. Uh, in the meantime, anything that you've heard on tonight's show, all the stories are at archdradio.com. Leave us a message if you like to on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. We are going to leave you with Cody Simpson. Wish- we'll you were here. We will see you next week. Catch you later. Bye.